everyone, welcome back, Nina here. Today we are going to create some fun tags using the tags of the sophisticated release from Art by Merlin. You will find it linked down below if you want to check any of them. Also, I'm going to use the collage paper from the previous release. Uh, we are going to cut the tags from these papers and we are going to uh, have some elements from the paper elements to decorate our tags. I'm gonna pop out the, these um, booklets uh, having all these fun images and they are ready to pop out. So easy, you don't need to cut or anything. I'm collecting some fun elements that I think that I'll be using. I collected many from even other books, but I actually ended up using only the ones uh, that came with the sophisticated release. So here I'm using my uh, tag dies to cut the papers from the collage papers. I'm trying to mix and match and find what is the best background for each image. So this is the first one. And for this one, I left this part so you could see how I'm going to make a bigger tag from just this small die. So I'm going to put the uh, cutting pads overlapping each other like this leaving the end part of the die free so I can cut around it and make it longer. See, I just cut the top part of the tag and then the rest I'm gonna cut with my scissor making my tag longer. So here it's very helpful so you can extend the use of your dies. Each tag and the die set comes with the tag itself and then another die for a border um, around it. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna be using it now. Here, see, I made a bigger tag from the small die. It was very easy to make. So also the die set comes with these um, uh, enforcing for the hole. Some are the heart shape that I'm using here and some are flower and another is a star. I'm adding some elements from the uh, paper element booklet and I just cut a very thin strip to make it like the ocean bed just for some more interest and then I cut the I popped out the fish tank from the booklet and I'm adding it as if it's falling down but I'm adding a sentiment that for the fish that don't feel bad that you're falling, you're actually free. You're getting out of the tank. So it's a fun spider coat. I used my label maker to create this sentiment. And also uh, the die set comes with this die that cuts these bubbles that you can detach from each other that you can use additives so, there are so many uses for it so i decided to put it behind the tank it gives an ocean scene some more fun look and then i'm using my white gel pen to add some details and bubbles and dots to the background to complete the under the ocean scene i also got this twine it's just plain craft color twine that I'm wrapping around the tag. And oh, I also added the, the black background. You can see it all around. That's another die that cuts a bigger background for each tag. See, each tag comes with two dies. So I'm um, doing the exact same thing for another die. I cut the die, the tag, and then I'm cutting the frame around it, the black frame around it. And then you just place your tag on top of the frame. The image is so light colored, it's not showing against the white background, so I needed to really pop it more with a good dense uh, thick layer of uh, black all around 
I'm just starting with making a thin layer around the image and then I'm going to color all the white part to make it a very thick, dense uh, uh, black outline all around it. And I'm just using my tape runner and I'm adding uh, tape on my tag then I'm going to attach it to the background. I also used my crocodile to cut um, the hole uh, through the background. Then I'm just creating the sort of a rope that is holding the lamp, the bulb I mean. Then I'm attaching it. See, you will see now in the close-up how dense is the uh, black outline all around the image. I'm using the uh, sentiment uh, pad from Art by Merlin, and I found this font code that says "Think Happy Thoughts," and I cut them because the tag is too small, so. I needed to separate the words and I just stack them whimsically like this. And then I'm adding the whole reinforcing. I think I'm gonna use the star one. Yeah, or the flower. It's a flower, I guess. And then I'm going to use the twine and a ribbon and wrap it around the tag. So can you see the dense outline around the image? And also added some highlights. And then comes the third tag. This is my favorite die. It's so cute. The paper that comes from the collage paper is very thin, so I thought I'll reinforce it with another thick paper at the back before I add it to the background. Here I'm using the star reinforce the hole I'm just using a glue and then I'm taping everything to the black background and I'm using two fish to complete this scene with uh, the word dream also from my labor maker and here also I felt that the fish need the same thick black outline all around them And I'm just using my tape runner to tape them to the tag and again I'm going to add some um, some bubbles with my white gel pen and some bubbles that came with the die set I cut them through my dyeing machine my die cutting machine And I'm just going to glue them to the background using my jewel picker. And here is the part that I'm adding my sentiment that says dream. It's so much fun. Such a very nice die set. It has endless uses and the sky's the limit really. It's full of fun dyes and you can do a lot. See the flower dye that I didn't use it today, but it also makes a flower shape tag. And here's the exact same process creating the last tag. I used the, I, the popped out uh, image and I attached it to my tag and then I attached the reinforcing of the hole and attached a black background. And here I'm attaching some fun uh, bubbles some with the white gel pen and some with the that come from the die set. I also use the sentiment just relax and I gave it a black background so it can stand against the white background. And for another fun look and to give fullness of the image, I removed the part there was a, a, a tiny uh, mouse next to the um, sand castle 
but then I cut them and I added this star. I was so inspired by someone who created a similar tag and it I loved it so much so I was like okay inspire me to create something similar and these are all the tags that I uh, the tags that I made today this is the large one that I extended the die and this is the fish one and here are the other tiny smaller ones it was so much fun creating these tags with this such amazing die set i had so much fun creating these today guys i hope you did too please don't forget to like and subscribe it helps my channel a lot thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye